What would you put in your self-care kit? With everything that's been happening since 2020, when this pandemic has taken over the world, I think many of us have been thinking a lot more, with a lot more focus on how we can take better care of ourselves, because we've been confronted with challenges and difficulties that many of us haven't ever experienced before, or if we experienced any such restrictions before, such as us people from Eastern Europe have had similar experiences, still it wasn't to this extent and it wasn't something that prevented us even from socializing face to face. So everything that's been happening, I think, highlighted that we need to take care of ourselves so we can manage such challenges and difficulties. Our mental health, our physical health, our general well-being has been quite strained in the recent year. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina George. I am a vlogger and a writer. And here I publish vlogs about lifestyle, about my Romanian heritage, as well as about traveling, when that's going to be possible again, hopefully sometimes this year. Now here in the UK, we will soon hopefully be able to travel more locally so I can bring you more footage from a lot of the beautiful places that exist in this country. and. Maybe people all over the world don't always know about them. And I hope that you, where you live, will be able to explore a little bit more after so much time that we had to spend in a lockdown due to the current circumstances. But now let's get back to what we were going to talk about today, which is the self-care kit. Things that help us just feel better, take care of ourselves and just, you know, feed our energy with good vibes, manage the difficulties that we all had to a certain extent in our lives recently. I was inspired to make this vlog by a channel that I follow and I watch quite regularly, Claudia Zedit. Claudia makes vlogs about lifestyle and productivity and getting organized and self-care as well. And I've recently watched her vlog about her self-care kit. I thought that's such a great idea, never heard about it before. I went and researched on YouTube, on blogs as well, and I thought that's something that I could use in my life. Maybe now I'll inspire you too while watching this vlog. And I've seen people usually have a self-care kit that's, you know, a box that's not too big with things that can make their days better, lovely things that they enjoy. And I thought, well, I will end up having a big box of things that I enjoy and that make my days better. So let's crack on with it and bear with me and let's have some fun while we're doing this. Once I had the idea, I sat down with pen and paper and thought about what helps me when I'm feeling a bit down or actually even just start a good day and have a good day and carry on with everything that I need to do every day. Even when, you know, it's a lockdown and I'm furloughed and things are a little bit hectic and crazy. What are these things? And out of all those things that can give me a good vibe, I have put together a list of no more and no less than 10. And I started with my tea box. I do like to keep my tea in a nice pretty tea box. I'm trying not to create too much cl clutter by just buying too many things for the kitchen because I do have a tendency to just hoard a little bit. That's a tendency that my Nana had, that yeah, I think I've inherited it from her. But 
my tea in the morning when I wake up, when I have my breakfast, whether I'm working from home or whether I have to go to work, whether I'm just getting ready to start a day of furlough with, with doing some coloring and then getting organized to maybe write some poetry, work on my novel or whatever it is that I'm doing on the day. A nice warm cup of tea at the beginning of the day and then later on in the afternoon again just gives me that really nice pleasant feeling that I'm comfortable, that I can crack on with everything that I need to do. second type of items that I would include in my self-care kit are candles. I love scented candles, the warmth again, the perfumes that just make me feel really good and help me be in the mood that I would like to be in. But you know, at the same time, I grew up in a priest's family. My dad is a retired priest, so I had candles around me all my life in church and then even at home and candles are a little bit related as well to something that used to happen in communist times in Romania because our dictator was making this um, campaign of saving electricity basically he kept us without electricity in the evenings a few times a week for a couple of hours and then families will get together, neighbors, couple of families just um, lighting candles and the kids would play and the adults would have a chat and a catch up and maybe a, something to nibble. And it sounds pretty romantic, but actually it wasn't great because you were just imposed this situation and all of his saving electricity propaganda, I don't think it was all that positive, but I do have a level of candles, I have two in my bedroom and two in the lounge and I just light them up just to give me a really good mood for what I'm going to do while I burn these candles around. Another thing that I grew up with since a very early age, first I had my granddad reading to me from, from this book that I still remember, are books. I can't choose one book to put in my self-care kit because that just feels unfair. I love books, I love all sorts of books, generally fiction, but also poetry, but also history. So I always have books on my bedside table um, right now I have this anthology of poetry from the 80s and 90s from my region in Romania, in Western Romania, Panat. Then I have this corsets and clockwork, an anthology of steampunk stories. I love steampunk. And the book that I'm reading right now, which is Doom by Chuck Polnick. I can't, I just can't choose just one book. My self-care kit will always have the book or the books that I'm reading at that time. Now these last two types of items that I've talked about are both linked to my childhood and there comes another one which is number four in my self-care kit which is well actually there are two, two of them my two stuffed toys that I have with me and that do go to bed with me every night. I am still a big kid in, the heart, in my heart and I think that's something really good for all of us to carry with us where such little beautiful things can just bring us so much joy. They keep me company, Teddy and Bunny keep, keep me company when I read. They, as I said, just go to bed with me every night and 
that is something that I've got in common with my dad because he loves stuffed toys, he loves his teddy bears. My teddy, I've got, but I've got both of them from my partner Adrian, but my teddy, he looks like he's such a grump. He's a fake grump. He just scowls all the time, but he's a softy at heart. And so is my bunny. And I had my bunny as a gift two years ago for Easter from Dobby's Gardening Center. That's it. Those are my two voiceless companions that just make me feel really nice and cozy whenever I have them around. And so comes item number five, which is again something that can be related to my childhood as well. And it is the coloring book that I'm using at the time. Right now I'm going through my steampunk women coloring book. I'm using these wax pencils that are really, really nice and bright colors and vibrant, vibrant nuances all across. This book feels so empowering and inspiring with women doing everything from science, literature, journalism, exploring, all of these things that were not allowed to women for quite a long time. So besides it just being really, really good fun, it is an empowering book and I really enjoy going through it. Also, I have had this book in my vlog about things to do to make your lockdown fun. So if you're interested in watching that one, just check down in the description below because I'm going to link it there. Item number six is something that I think many people will have in their self-care kit. It's really just a favorite treat for so many people around the world. Drum roll, Doo -doo -doo -doo. that is, you guessed, chocolate. And while I love all sorts of different types of chocolate, from dark chocolate to coconut filled chocolate, pralines and all sorts, I do have a soft spot for Reese's peanut butter chocolate. And Reese's peanut butter chocolate usually comes in the shape of like big peanut butter chocolate cups. But I have found recently the tiniest, cutest button ones, which first of all, for somebody who's trying to have a low carb diet, lower carb diet as I am, you don't feel that guilty, but you can still have like a bite size Reese's peanut butter chocolate and just feel great about it for all the reasons in the world. There we go. Are you maybe a peanut butter chocolate lover as well? Well, not everybody is. For example, my partner Adrian doesn't really fancy peanut butter. How weird is that? <laughs> we all have our own favorites anyway. So that is my item number. Have I lost track? Item number six. Yeah, that's it. Four more to go. Item number seven or item type number seven in my list is something that accompanies me everywhere I go. When I drive, when I'm at work, when I do housework, sometimes when I write as well, but never when I read. And that is, that is my favorite music that I have all of it gathered on Spotify. That's what I use for my music. I have several playlists there, an energizing playlist, one for housework, one for um, relaxation, and then on different themes such as, uh, you know, more dar darker um, music or deep, you know, some music with some, some depth to it, such as my Viking music that I really, really love. So that is my item type number seven. And yeah, it's my playlists that do go with me wherever I go. The next item in my self-care kit, which you have already seen in this vlog, is my blanket. 
I do have a blanket not only because I sometimes tend to feel cold <laughs> but also because it just gives me comfort. I think I'm a little bit like a cat in that respect. I just like to snuggle somewhere nice and cozy and 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 tight in that sense that it's not a huge space around me and fluffy and warm and I just feel better like that. I use my blanket when I read, I use my blanket when I just grab my laptop and do some writing or gaming or just be online editing vlogs like this and that is a very very important item to me. Let me know if you have such a love of blankets that just make you feel very cozy and very safe and very you know have just a really really good warm and feeling cared for mood. With that we made it to number eight which is a very special type of items to me. It is fashion but it isn't only fashion and that type of a fashion item that is not only fashion to me are my chokers. I've got a big collection of them, maybe not as big as my earrings collection but that's something else. As everything that I wear, even my makeup, it isn't only for fashion and beauty, it is the way that it makes me feel, the way that it reflects my mood on the day, the way that it reflects um, how my mind works on the day, how I feel, what I would like for myself from that day. So yeah, but the chokers themselves, I've discovered them a few years ago. When I was a teenager, I think I had my very first choker, but then it wasn't so fashionable back then, now it is. And for me, they are also a little bit of an amulet because they have the significance that the witches circle of protection have. They do make me feel good, safe and besides the fact that they express my general state of mind, they have also that amulet thing about them. That's my own quirkiness, if you want to call it so. What is then my last item on my self-care kit? That is something that would make my box quite sizable, quite big, because I chose for my last item my welly boots. It is so funny, but I had these welly boots for years and I did not wear them for years because they just lived in the trunk of my car. I kept thinking that they would not be keeping me warm enough but recently with all of this pretty cold weather weather that we had this springtime in 2021 when we were locked down and all that we can do to socialize is be online or go out for walks I thought let's give them a go and you know what they have been surprisingly good they are my best pair of boots for walking because they are flat they are comfortable and they do keep me warm and that I did not expect for all of these years when they just lived in my car. And with this I hope that you really enjoyed our little journey discovering my self-care kit that maybe you find in it items that make your days better and that make you feel better about you know every day in your life. This was my 10 item self-care kit that I put together for you also in this vlog in the hope that I can inspire you, that you'll have fun watching all of these items and my stories that came with them. Why not go and make your own self-care kit now and just let me know in comments below what would you think of putting in it just right now, right off the cuff, before you even think about it properly. I will have more such vlogs here in the future too. Um, also, cooking is something that I really enjoy and makes me feel really good, really mindful and present in the moment while I do it. So I'll have more vlogs like that, more photos to go as well on my Instagram account if you want to check that one out. But thank you for watching this vlog with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more such content to come your way in the future. And until next time then, ciao for now!